Hi, how are you? My name's Daniela, and in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about vocal growling. If you haven't seen my first video on vocal growling, I made it a few years ago, and surprisingly to me, it has received a ton of feedback, a lot of comments, and a lot, a lot of questions. And I thought I'd take the time to address some questions today addressing the three main points uh, that I've been asked through these few years that that video has been up. So first of all, I wanted to address vocal growling means different things for different people. I think some people have come to that other video expecting me to teach vocal growling as in like heavy rock or heavy metal growling or screaming and that's not at all what that video teaches that video teaches more growling in the style of Lizzo or Christina Aguilera I'm, I'm crying because I love you that growling or I need a tough love or that sort of growling, that's what we're talking about. The heavy metal growling, I don't really know how to do it. I don't teach it. So if that's what you're looking for, I advise you to go to a different video that teaches more metal or heavy rock styles. I'm sure that you can find it using those terms. The second thing that I wanted to talk about was vocal health and pain. I get a lot of comments asking, well, does it hurt? Is it healthy? Or even more criticism, like, well, that's not healthy. That's not healthy technique. Um, yeah, that's true. Vocal growling is by no means a healthy technique. That's just the truth. And you have to know that when you're practicing, be very vigilant of your own voice, how it sounds, how it feels, if it starts to get tired, if it starts to get swollen and Always, no matter what you're practicing, if it's growling or, or if it's anything else, if your voice starts to get sore, you should stop and reevaluate what you're doing. So when you are practicing growling or trying it for the very first time, you need to be careful and you're doing it under your own risk. So the best thing always for any circumstance in singing is to have a voice professional or a voice teacher look over what you're doing. I understand that some people can't do that, but the next best thing would be to be very cautious with your voice, take it slow, and always stop if you're feeling pain. So yes, vocal growling is not healthy technique, and I think that you should be warned before practicing that. The third and final issue that I wanted to talk about is some comments I received where, well, this technique doesn't work for me, this method doesn't really work for me, I still can't growl. Well, first of all, every voice technique takes time, takes effort. Vocal growling is not a formal voice technique by any means. From my personal experience, how I learned it was through listening to a lot of music that I liked that included it. In my time, it was a lot of Christina Aguilera, that's just what I was into again at that stage. And it was through a lot of imitation, that was key. So my advice would be listen to the artists that you like the most that do vocal growling and just imitate what they're doing, try to emulate it. What I tried to break down in the last video was just the method that made sense to me that I was using as I was imitating her and other artists that I liked. But it's by no means a proven technique, it's not studied, it's not a science. It has all to do with practicing, with trying, with experimenting. And I definitely encourage you to experiment, again, being very safe with your voice all the time. So guys, that's it for today. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that it cleared some of your doubts. And if you liked it, feel free to like this video and to subscribe for more voice videos. Feel free to let me know what other topic you'd like me to address in a next video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.